Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we entered this room, the end of Dustman's Cairn. We found a shout for Fire Breath. We found a fragment of Wolfrad right there. We found this chest over here, which we have not looted, so let's go ahead and do that and find absolutely nothing. Wow, what a shitty chest, my god. Uh, also, we killed a roughly 8 million, I'd say, is the correct number there of these Draugr here. And you'll notice, not only are we dealing with Death Lords, but also these hulking Draugr, because we are... Are level 41 so the enemies are gonna start getting pretty annoying uh, to kill now basically nearing the hundredth episode of let's play Skyrim uh, because it's just you know waiting for magic to regenerate it's it's constantly going you know uh, alternating between that and killing everything in a decent amount of time so I might be cutting some fights if it's like this one where it just takes 10 years these guys are just chilling out they're uh, relaxing all cool sh uh, shooting some b-ball you know outside of school uh, when a couple of guys, me and Farkas, you know, came up and started making trouble in their neighborhood, etc., etc., you get the joke, I'm gonna stop it now. Uh, anyways, yes, we are done here, we are doing the Companions quest line. My god, that was, uh, that was a fight, that took a lot. You see all these little tombs here, all these little, whatever you wanna call them. There was like a Draugr for each one, so we count them all up, I, I mean, you guys can do that if you want, Let's take a look, and there are even ones down there. Uh, yeah, we killed all those, man, and we didn't really get a lot, oh, also what we want to do is, anytime we have a chance, uh, we're gonna go into magic, alteration, telekinesis, we're gonna favorite that, probably should have also went into magic, alteration, telekinesis, and put that in my left and right hands, because, oh, dude move thank you because anytime we have a chance we probably okay that's not doing anything i thought we could grab that probably want to grab stuff what's going on man there's a sword on the ground okay well what what can we manipulate uh the potion there we go okay we just want to like hold this to uh, increase our alteration that is pretty fast i must say in fact if we do it once more we will get a an uh a level up and so we will do that let's uh continue to hold this. I don't know if I'm dual casting or what, but uh, one more should do the trick. Uh, no, you're the only thing that works, health potion. Don't fall, don't, don't fly away from me. All right, so let's, I'm gonna try and hold the left and right triggers at the same time here. Yeah, it doesn't sound, it doesn't look like that's dual casting, but there's our alteration increase and a level up. Let's go ahead and utilize that, shall we? Now that we're not a vampire, we can see what our actual stats are. Uh, Magicka is almost at 500, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that to 500. Uh, might as well, right? It's just an even number. And I like it. Let's see, so we were done with Illusion Perks, done with Conjuration, done with Destruction. Um, Restoration is pretty crappy, Alteration is pretty crappy. Oh no, actually, we were gonna go ahead and grab this. Protection spells like Stone Flesh are twice as strong if not wearing armor. That sounds like a pretty significant buff. And there's zero out of three. Okay, so that's what we're gonna go for. Yes, indeed. Uh, what is this? Dual casting an alteration spell overcharges the effects into an even more powerful version. So that should apply to Stone Flesh, right? Which means that will be even more powerful. And then we, if we have the other one, that means that it will last twice as long. So that sounds good to me. I'm gonna grab that one. We're going to start leveling up uh, Alteration, which will basically be our buffing tree. Uh, and we need to use Telekinesis to expend our magic whenever we can, just to start increasing that. But I will probably grind it out uh, like normal. So, to Dustman's Cairn, let's get out of here. This was a pretty difficult quest. I mean, it even lasted multiple episodes, which usually doesn't happen for a singular dungeon. But man, the Silver Hand were tough, and there was just a lot of Draugr. Also, we completed the Jazargo's Flame Cloak spell, so we'll probably uh, return to... Um, the College of Winterhold and finish off that one since this is a, you know, 100% playthrough. Okay, we want to just do things like that. Oh, it looks like we can dual cast that now, I think, anyways. Well, we are done with this for now uh, because it's been a while since we've seen the significant thing that happened in this dungeon. Just to recap everybody, uh, we witnessed the Silver Hand for the first time, which is a group of vampire slayers, or sorry, werewolf slayers. Is there any little item here that I can... Come on, man. The well, Again, just like last episode, the one time I, I just won an item somewhere that I can grab. There's like nothing. Look at that. There's nothing down there. Well, what does that ever happen? Okay, anyways, uh, return to your, return to your Vasker. You see, I start to say things and it combines multiple words. Return and your, so retour or something like, I don't know. I don't know how my brain works. Um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go 
Are you kidding? No. What? Oh my god, I must have died and not remembered to use this. Oh god, this is the worst quest in the whole game. Why does this exist? <sighs> okay, well, I need to use that flame cloak spell one more time, apparently. But that's kind of good anyways, because at least we can keep the theme going with the companions. We don't have to, like, take a little break to go to the Mage's Guild. Anyways, I was as I was saying, we met the uh, Silverhand, which is a group of werewolf hunters. They utilize silver weapons, which... Actually, yeah, isn't the enchantment it deals double damage to undead enemies? And werewolves aren't undead, right? Those are... Uh, vampires are undead, but not werewolves. Okay, let's, uh... This. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, also, we did not read this, which is going to increase our smithing. Pretty much a waste, like I said. Uh, and we should get another alteration, I think, out of this one. That's so fun. All right, let's try one more time uh, to, to play some Skyrim Ski Ball. Okay, here we go. Ready? If, if, I, if this goes through the hole, I'm the best Skyrim player ever. And yes, jokes about going through holes and, and sex. Haha, <laughs> very funny. All right. Brothers and sisters of the circle, today we welcome a new soul into our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the song of triumph as our mead hall reveled in his stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Let it beat with ours, that the mountains may echo, and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall be so. so. Come well, to me boy, with questions. you're one of us I now. know our history almost I trust as you well won't as Vignar by now. Except I can remember it. What kind of weapon do you prefer? Is it true that the companions are werewolves? I see you've been allowed to know some secrets before your appointed time. No matter. Yes, it's true. Not every companion, though. Only members of the Circle all share the blood of the beast. Some take to it more than others. What about you? Well, I grow old. My mind turns towards the horizon, to Sovngarde. I worry that Shore won't call an animal to glory as he would a true Nord warrior. Living as beasts draws our souls closer to the Daedric Lord Hircine. Some may prefer an eternity in his hunting grounds, but I crave the fellowship of Sovngarde. You're looking to cure yourself? Yes, but it's no easy matter. But you don't need to share the worries of an old warrior. This day is to rejoice in your bravery. And speak to Yorland if you want a better weapon than whatever that is. Whatever what is, my hands? Because that's what I'm using. The heck are you talking about? Alright, hi there, cups. Gotcha! Boom! I love how it flings it. Is there a way to, like, not fling it? Some nights Maybe you have to... Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it, we get it, body boy. I know, you're, you're, you're sad that... Oh, I, for... I I have to get out of the mindset that everyone knows this already. Uh, yeah, well, we'll touch more on that later on. The Empire, so Boom! Ah, invisible walls always the ruining the fun. Okay, um, I believe it said talk to the companions' leaders for work. Yes, indeed. There's one right here. You still need to prove yourself, Will. I'm looking for work. One of the guards from Dragon's Reach came to me, worried about a prisoner who's escaped. The Jarl has too much on his mind right now. We won't be troubling him with this. At this point, they don't care what happens to him, and neither do I. Best to just kill him and be done with it. I'll take care of it. Be careful. This man is known to be dangerous. All right then. Are you looking for help? With Boom! This is a busy time. Screw that. Okay, kill the escaped criminal. You know, it's. I, I feel like one more alteration run will. Uh, one more telekinesis run will give us that alteration. 
Maybe not, because I think I just dropped it. Okay, let's try it on the cheese. I just want to launch it out at people and, and things. I wonder if it does damage to people. Probably. What else would be the application? Boom! Oh, that's so fun! I've never used that, like, ever, you know? I I've used some mage spells, not most of them. Uh, okay, anyways, let's do... Escaped Criminal, kill the Escaped Criminal. Another awesome, super detailed Radiant Quest. It doesn't even tell us the guy's name, isn't that fun? Don't you think they could have generated the guy's name and just told me, like, just out of a name generator or something? To make this at least a little bit more fun, you know? I this is, like, the only time we have to do Radiant Quests, though, outside of the Thieves' Guild, which was a horrible gameplay decision. Gameplay, game design decision, in my opinion. Uh, we'll try to kill this guy with our newfound telekinesis powers, although it looks like he's moved. Yes, he has moved. So we're going to travel to the uh, Western Watchtower, hopefully cut him off. Obviously, it takes some of the travel time out, though, and he's going to move even more. But we shall see where he is. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, it looks like he's right around here. Oh, and there's a dragon somewhere. I hear its call. Um, okay, let's use the Fire Breath Shout on this guy and see just how much... Just how, uh... I'm getting out of here. Okay, that does nothing. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I just want to see... Oh, hopefully he's not breaking into a sprint there. Okay, uh, shouts, and then dragon, or fire breath. Oh, we have all three, wonderful. We have 22 dragon souls. I am going to save them just in case we want to get certain stuff but let's unlock that let's unlock that fire inferno sun inhale air exhale flame and behold the thuum as inferno now i've used this and it didn't seem to be that powerful but let's try it out and let's see if we can talk to this guy yes never should have come here uh, that's a decent chunk of damage but if we use soul tear it literally would have like completely decimated him so let's finish him off with a nice bout of incinerate and that even does like the same you know and you don't have to waste the whole shout. I see you, Saber Cat. Don't you come near here. Don't you come near here. Uh, I told you. I told you not to. I told you not to. But thank you for giving me your eye. Uh, thanks for delivering it right to my door. Okay, can we fast travel? We can. We're not going to deal with that dragon. Because as you just saw there, 22 shouts. Or 22 souls. Uh, that means we can unlock 22 divided by 3. Uh, 7, 14, 21. And around 7 souls. Uh, around seven shouts, damn it. Why do I... I mean, how does my brain work? I say the wrong thing the first time, and then I say the wrong thing the second time after already confirming what the wrong thing is. Am I even making sense now? I don't know. Also, I forgot we can go to Yorland and grab ourselves an upgraded weapon, even though we're not going to use it. Got a lot of steel to shape. I was told you would have a weapon for me. Yes, lad. You've been raised into the companions, I hear. I can fashion whatever kind of weapon you want. Finest forge in Skyrim, right here before you. I'd like a battle axe. Just like Ysgrimor himself. Now, that doesn't really matter too much because that's not unique. If we use the Skyforge, we can actually make Skyforge steel weapons. Um, and so we're just doing that to do it. It doesn't even matter. Now, let's grab telekinesis and just any time we see something, we just grab it and then launch it. Actually, let me join the That'd be cool if you like could I cut someone's out. head off like in Half-Life 2 with the gravity gun when you grab saw blades and that one creepy level that scared me as a kid. Okay, let's put that away actually. Hey, uh you want some cheese? Oh shit. That actually does damage him. <laughs> Not by like anything, but yeah. Okay, so like if we could grab the plate, you know, and just like, need to prove shoot it, it like a disc and just cut someone's head right off. Yeah. Oh, I actually got her, bounced off and hit her. Wow, her health bar appeared for a second. This had better be important. That criminal won't be a problem anymore. Bit by bit, we bring honor to this land, and you've brought honor to the companions. More importantly, some gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think he's ah, going to give us are. an actual quest now. I'm looking for work. Yes, I have something special for you. But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. We will speak more. Where is this Underforge? I forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, where Yorland works. The door is hidden, but I will show you the way. Alrighty. All right. Then. Now let's grab another alteration before we leave. At, a real at least I used to be. Then that means you're not a real warrior anymore, Vignar Greymane. That means you used to be a real warrior. Give me an alteration level up. Boom. Did you take a look at it? Okay, come on, one more. I'm a warrior, one not more. a blacksmith. 
Can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? <laughs> I love this spell. Okay, uh, he wants us to meet us. He wants us to meet him in the Underforge. I happen to know where that is, but it's pointing us out to him right now. I think we have to wait till after night or something. Let's take a look. Meet with Skior at night. Now, what time is it now? 10 a.m., which means if we wait 12 hours, that means it'll be 10 p.m. Just in case you didn't know, there's probably some people out there that don't know this. Uh, if you take any time time of the day say 12 p.m. and you wait 12 hours it's gonna be the same time just you know the reverse so or the opposite so 12 p.m. you wait 12 hours 12 a.m. Uh, that's a neat little trick you can do and obviously if you wait 24 hours it's gonna be where is this guy it's nighttime okay are they going to the underforge let's 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 let's, let's stalk Ayla actually no while they're moving in place we'll here. work on our alterations <laughs> 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 Wait, <coughs> Whoa, where'd that cough come from? Okay, we'll grab that Eider cheese we wedge, is what I was trying to say, and also all this stuff here. Okay, take that, bread! Oh! <gasps> we actually got past the, uh... Oh, that's not... Con <laughs> that's, that's not, uh... Obvious at all. Look at this thing. Oh, we can't actually go through it. Okay, uh, where are you at, Scourge? Skewer? What are you doing? Oh, God, don't glitch out. Come on... Ayla's in there, and he's not coming out. Come on, Skewer. I, it, it should, he should be in there. I mean, Ayla's in there, and yeah, it's already 12 a.m., so it looks like we've got ourselves a little uh, glitch here. I don't, we definitely don't have to talk to him. Um, let's wait 12 hours, which, or 24, which would be 1 a.m., then we got 12, uh, 11, 10, 9. Let's just wait 20 hours. And while this is happening, I'll just talk to you guys about certain things. Hi, my name is Grovana. Nice to meet you. Um, I wonder, honestly, if there's anyone out there that does not know who I am if you're watching this. I guess there's certain people that funnel in when it's the most recent video. You know, they, they look at my, you know, they find the channel, they look at most recent videos, and they see this one. And so they don't know who I am. Oh, God. What are you doing, Skewer? Oh no, what's going on here? I hate when this happens. Oh, you just eaten, Skewer? Dead if not for Big Mom. Okay, is he leaving now? It's tonight! So yeah, go ahead and walk out the door. I'll 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 wait. I'll wait. Got stuff to do anyways. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff to move. Okay. Alright, one more before come on. Get out the door, Skewer. Oh no. Is this actually glitching out right now? Says that I have to and my okay, there he goes. Thank God. All right, we'll wait a little bit because he's going to be on his path over to that uh, that entrance there, and then we'll try and go for another alteration here. Okay, you can easily lose the stuff I've I've found though. You can easily, and we're standing in fire, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> we are the Dragonborn. Okay, pop. There it goes. Yeah, this does increase it pretty fast. Uh, stone flesh is. Actually, around the same time, you just have to have en uh, enemies around, you know. Okay. I wonder if you have more items does it increase faster. Maybe. All right, Skewer, let's go, buddy. I always like to wait for the NPC uh, NPCs to actually go inside of the, you know, place um, before we walk in. And you know what? We're so close to the end of the episode. We might as well just grind out a little bit here and then go inside. Skewer's still not. What are you doing, Skewer? Are you prepared? I'm ready for whatever test is next. This is no test, new blood. This is a gift. Come inside. You still need to prove yourself. Well. Okay. All right. So yeah, we got about a minute to go. Let's just grind out some alteration in the meantime. Pop. Oh. Did that make it? Oh man. If <laughs> what in the world? Okay, one more. Well, let's go one more, and then we'll end the episode. Come on, where are you at? Actually, one more alteration increase. How about that? Boom. Might as well use Highborn, right? It's going to speed things up a bit. And there we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh. Oh, let's see if we can spot it coming down. Oh. I lost it. All right, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.